Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Great news from Microsoft, uh, according to Microsoft Project for the Web. We have a new tab which is called Chart. Until now, we had a grid, boards, as you can see, timeline, as you can see, but the new one is Chart. Before I show it to you, let me show you my project, my Air project. It is supposed to start at 27th of June and be finished on uh, 6th of October, same year. And there is no single task which is started, and each task uh, has uh, its own resources. For example, phase one design has John, but phase one development has Mary, Ellen, and we have Nenad as an external, external resource. Okay, now, since nothing is started, let's go to charts. Charts has three different, let's say, uh, uh, let's say sections. First of all is overall status. Overall status says that I have 17 tasks left, but 15 of them, if I hover mouse on the gray, gray, it is 15 of them are not started and two of them are late. According to buckets, let's go to buckets here on board. I have design, development, testing, and milestones buckets. So those are buckets. If I go back to charts, you will see that according to buckets, on the milestone buckets, I have five milestones which are not started. In design, I have three not started tasks, one task is late, and the total number of tasks are four. Let's go here, board, and you will see one, two, three, four. So I have total four tasks in development, but one is late. Let's go back here. Development also has three not started tasks and one is late, and testing has not started four, four tasks. And finally, I have, per person, I have, uh, 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 I have here sections, so I can, I say, I can see that Mary has got to work in total 380 hours, John has to work more than one, uh, uh, 119 hours, etc., etc. so those figures are hours, and he, you can see here, not started 336 hours, 48 hours are late, here, if I hover mouse, eight hours late for John and 208 hours not started uh, for him. Peter has 176 hours not started, Nenad has 48 hours late, and Ellen has 48 hours late as well. Let's go back here and let's say that phase one is done, okay? But this one, is only 50%. Let's go here, put, and let me put here 50%. Now, on phase two, I can say that phase two design is done and development is only 30% done, okay? Just for example, no matter if it uh, makes a sense or not, let's go back to charts. Now, I can see that I have a green, which is Four tasks are completed, and one task is in progress. Twelve, star, uh, te twelve uh, tasks are not started. So, 13 tasks left means how many tasks do you have which are not finished? Here is the same thing, but now I can see that for design I have completed two tasks. One task is completed for development, one for testing. And Mary has 112 hours completed, 40 hours in progress, and 232 hours to be worked on or not started. And you can see, for example, that Ellen has 48 hours and she is done with her, uh, uh, her work. So this is great, great, great new thing in Microsoft Project. You can see the status of a project 
On the left side, you can see uh, the status of task according to buckets, and you can see how do you stand with your resources uh, according to the whole project. So once again, great, great thing. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.